All right, what's going on guys? We're back with another reacting to your flicks. This time, we got Baby Black. Hi. This is probably like one of my most requested videos. You guys really like them. It's where you guys send me videos on my Instagram and I react to them and give tips or just laugh at them if they're, if they're that bad, which sometimes they are. If you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm going to put it right here. And I'm also going to put Baby Black's Instagram right there. Baby, Baby Black on Instagram. <laughs> Dot net. <laughs> <laughs> Not important, let's get on with the video. <laughs> now, usually when I make these videos, I like will tell you guys in advance and then I get like an influx of people sending me stuff, but I don't have that today, so I'm hoping there's enough in here. Hey! <laughs> get him out, get him out. Go! Get out. <laughs> Kill Joe. Right, okay, I'm gonna work I'm just gonna work my way from the top and then go down. So we got the most recent. Can you give me tips for my cart dub? Really like the videos, keep it the good work. Oh yeah. Have you turn all nine? Oh, it's fine. It's actually cool. I like the way that you're doing it and because that's your first ones ever I would say that's a really good first card dub. Yeah, you've landed it. Just keep doing it. You've that's landed good. it That's the hardest part. <laughs> keep doing it and it's gonna be a good time I mean, I get that a lot. I get it when people send me clips of their first one ever and they're like tips and I'm like You've, just, you've gone the whole way now. Like. Yeah, like you've done the part that I would give tips on just keep keep training it. Hey, Matthew Cranbull. Matthew Cranbull with the backflip, I assume. Go on, Matt. Get it, mate. Ooh! Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. You got that ping. Right, okay, wait. Let me get some advice on how to fix it. I landed very low on ground. You're stalling out. Yeah. <laughs> you're, wi you're, whipping it, you're whipping it quite far back. If anything, if you want it to land higher, try and get your knees snapping in faster because you're going, oh, and then you're bringing it. All the way back in. What you're doing right now is really good for rotation because you're literally throwing it right back and then you're getting good flip momentum. But to get it higher, it's all about not throwing it back. It's about lifting it up as much as you can before and you then bring it back. And scoop your knees up. But that's good. Strong kid. I was never one of those house flippers you were though. Oh, I was a big house flipper. <laughs> Used to train in my house all the time. Do you have any of those clips throwing up? Uh, I'll put a clip in right now. It's a little bit embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Invictus tricking. I just want to ask some advice on my fools. I don't know how I can improve my technique and I'm really mad about it. <laughs> I've been there, trust me. We're all We're mad when we can't figure out how to do these damn flips. But let, let's have a look. Okay, I see your biggest problem immediately. You're leaning back into it. You know the difference between the takeoff for a backflip and the takeoff for a back handspring? When you're going into back handspring, you're already like leaning back as you go into it. You're kind of doing that where you're standing full tech. You're just leaning back yeah, yeah. and then you're ripping it and you actually set it up nice. But by the time that you're setting it up, you're already leaning back. So you're just <coughs> traveling. So what you got to do, start, don't be leaning back, lift it right up. And ideally you want to land in the same spot. Like I get why you're leaning like that. I used to do that too because it felt like when I'm trying to twist, I need to definitely do all this flip before. Lift your chest, have a glass of wine, <laughs> put your feet up, and then finish the full. And then finish. Then you finish it. <laughs> Jaden Sage needs tips on his touchdown raise. Uh oh. Oh, in oh the house. God, what I is love this the house oh. Oh, oh! oh! Okay, I, this guy's watched my tutorial. Yeah, he's doing the thing. You've got the right idea. The way that you're doing the setup, all your steps are right. But when you're on that last step and you're sort of turning around to lean into the touchdown raise, you're not committing at that part. You're getting scared and then you're yeah, kind of, you're, you're reaching around here. You're like, eh, trying to find the ground. You got to reach around here. They'll reach around. Step, <laughs> step, and then the reach around. Oh, bring it down to the ground. And probably don't try it in your house because it looks like you're a little bit scared to really be like yeah. snapping out for the touch of raise. With your arm, think about there's either putting your arm round like here or putting your arm out round here. You want it to be coming round this like top part. If you do this, even just sitting here, if I do that with my arm, my body starts to turn that way. Yeah. You don't want to turn that way. You want to turn like that. You want to guide it up there. Guide it up. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, boy. If he knows what I mean. I don't know, I think I'll tell you about what he means. <laughs> hey, I live in Kazakhstan. I have nowhere to do. That sucks. 
We've all had somewhere not to do. I want to learn how to do tricks. Could you write what basic tricks you can learn? Because they all have different on YouTube. The first trick for anyone other than cartwheel and basic shit like that should just be backflip. Get it out of the way early, backflip is easy and it takes away most of the fear for pretty much every other tricking move ever. So just learn a backflip, huck it. I'm sure Kazakhstan has sand. Get on your sandy dirt. Sandy dirt and, and just huck, huck that backflip. But be safe. <laughs> Get a friend Huck and be it safe. safely. Huck it safely on the <laughs> sand and grass. Hello, Kyle. I keep landing on my face. What should I do? Is it a cork? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, okay. It is. It's. Oh, look at you hurt your shoulder there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, you're not flipping. Yeah, you're not flipping. Watching this, I'm gonna assume that you can't really do a gainer flash. My very first cork attempts look similar to this. Yeah. And I could gain her, but I couldn't fall, so then that whole like twisting aspect was confusing. What you need is go back, get stronger gainer, and if you can't fall, learn to fall if you can make that stronger. And then cork should be less, it shouldn't look like that. Also, I think it's the way that you're stepping into it. If you look at your J-step, it's all about kind of stepping out to turn in on yourself, and then you turn that, like the momentum that you have traveling on the ground to traveling in the air. What you're doing right now, you're just kind of running forwards so you have nothing to like help you twist round. You kind of lose power from your yeah. setup. You're getting around as much as you can with what you're doing really. Like Turn the J-step in on itself a little bit more, <laughs> work on your full, work on your gainer, and then it'll be so much easier for you. Hello from Russia. Hello Russia. Hello all of Russia. Hello all of Russia. Watch the video and tell me what the errors are. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Spot the errors. Oh! Okay, well, <laughs> is that an error? Uh... At least the weather's nice in Russia. You don't really need a tip for that. Just work on your fall, double fall will come easy. And in the meantime, probably keep doing that, because it doesn't seem like it would hurt, and it's yeah, probably, kind of, right. probably, probably kind of fun. Kyle, please help. I'm trying to learn TD rays, but I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I know you do it the wrong way, but it's <laughs> easy. <laughs> Alright, okay, fine. <laughs> Chill out. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Uh, that's not a touchdown race. Did a gainer touchdown. Uh, there's like cartwheel or something. Yeah, I just did a gainer. Oh, thing. okay. Yeah, your problem is you're like turning into it like I said to you in my tutorial, but you're still somehow taking off your left leg. You gotta like take off your right leg and kick around with this left leg. And also put a bit of momentum into it because the way you're doing it right now is it's quite far removed from what a touchdown race is. So go back to the tutorial, look at it again, look at which leg you should take off of, and then Try it again. Yeah, this is one right. for you. How do I change my B kick into a B twist? Damn, well, you're just in luck. We have Mr. B twist right here. It's in the name. Uh, I didn't learn B twist by doing B kick and then twisting that. I learned it a different way. But you learned it doing the B yeah, kick. Yeah, I learned it this way. way. I kind of struggled with it. So it's good that you can B kick, but you have to kind of stop just trying to do B kick. And at the beginning, be kind of in this position where your body's kind of twisting as you're kicking up, otherwise you're doing a B kick and then trying to pull a whole twist out of the air. As you're kicking up, start already pulling this shoulder up. If you can see the floor like as soon as possible, that's just gonna get you twisting real quick. I don't know, you're out in the dirt. It doesn't <laughs> seem like the best place to try, but. Yeah, you probably shouldn't be trying on like the hard concrete dirt. Get on that grass by the side. <laughs> yeah, there's grass right there. Little crease. <laughs> Hi Kyle, love your vids. Can you give me some tips to land with chest up in cart hyperfall? Well, you did it. It's fine. I mean, you're doing it from a combo as well. So anytime you're doing like a cartwheel trick from a combo, it's really easy just to go straight into the cartwheel. And then when you're coming out the cartwheel, you got to think, right, and then now I got a hyper full. But you have like plenty of time as you're coming out the cartwheel to like blast it up. The longer you can set your chest up in the beginning to get more height, then the more like falling time you have to land with your chest up. The way you're doing it right now, you're kind of twisting over into that landing position, which is naturally chest down. To get your chest higher, you have to change what you're doing at the beginning of the trick. Instead of pulling like that, try and pull like, there should be a, a freeze frame shot of you where you're taking off kind of like this, yeah. instead of like I mean, look that. at Ilya Vitorin. Look at Ilya, <laughs> free, freeze frame any trick that he's doing when he's taking off and you'll see right. it's all chest up. Yeah. And then that's why he has so much drop time. Do these look good? Ooh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> it's fine. Nothing wrong with it. It's fine. How can I improve my double backflips? Oh, Jesus. Oh! The neck landing. <laughs> right, number one, don't land on your neck. Although it's gonna cushion your landing, having that teddy bear there and all the pillows that and teddy stuff. Bear. <laughs> yeah, is he going again? Oh, he's just going for number two. All right, let's no see No rest. It. Let's see it. Get it. Oh! <laughs> oh, wait, was that the same clip where he's no, naked no, twice? No. Yeah, that was, it's a different clip. <laughs> okay, stop, stop necking it on Trent. <laughs> what you need to do is probably number one, because you're flipping like pretty fast. You're opening out a little bit at the end, but that's because you don't have much time to be flipping in the first place. But you gotta jump a little bit higher. Now that's not like advice I would usually give for someone who's landing on their neck, being like, <laughs> jump higher, but... To get past your neck. Yeah, to get past your neck, because you are really not jumping very high. And just with like a little bit of extra jump time, a little bit more time in the air, you would get around fine. And I think it's like the pillows and the teddy that are maybe stealing your bounce a little bit. Jump a bit higher and also don't lose that commitment at the end. You're kind of, as you're about to get on your neck, you kind of... Yeah, right at the foot. end, at the very last second, you do kind of open out a little bit and then... Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> when you're, you're doing it uh. <laughs> Hey dude, here's a video of the first time I ever tried Scoot Full. It's a pretty bad fail. It's pretty funny though, so I made a Vine of it. Oh, Vine. Vine. Classic. God. Popular website. We miss Vine. <laughs> see the Vine version. What would the Vine version be? Uh, oh, there you go. That's, vi that's vine, vine. vine for you. He's Vine it. <laughs> I'm going to do two more, and then that's going to wrap up this video. Advice on my standing Webster's. Oh, yeah. You can, oh, you yeah, can this get this is the one, one for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Biggest problem a lot of people have with Webster's is you guys treat it like it's a front flip still. Yeah. Now Webster, although it is technically a front flip off one leg, it shouldn't feel like that at all, really. Like when you do Webster properly, it doesn't feel like a front flip. You never get that like bringing your chest round to, like you do with a front flip. With a Webster, it's like your back leg literally does all the work. It swings up behind you and then it should just pull your body over. It feels more like you're getting sucked round rather than like you're pulling around a front flip. Yeah. But the way you're doing it right now, you're pretty much lifting your back leg and then you're throwing it like you're trying to do a front flip. Let your back leg do way more of the work. Let it pull you all the way around and then just kind of grab onto your non-swinging leg, tuck it tight, and then you'll probably land it a lot better. That's solid advice. You won't get that advice anywhere else. Especially not Kojo's Trick Slab. Especially not on Kojo's Trick Lab. Jesus. Webster tutorial on that, no chance. <laughs> Guy can't Webster to save his life. Okay, we got one more, and then this video is over, and it might just be the very last clip I ever react to. So this is a sad moment. Getting teary. I'm getting a bit teary over here, Sean. You're in the, the Garrison studio. Do you need a pat on the... Pat on the cat. Shoulder, cat, both. Drake Long needs tips. What is he doing? It's another house video. Oh, okay. Look at your leg when you're swinging up. It kind of gives out on power as soon as it kicks up. You gotta ride that like you're doing a gainer. If you can do that exact same setup, because your J-step's really good actually. If you can do that exact same setup and do like a decent gainer where your leg kicks all the way over and your kicking leg pulls it all the way over to land on it from the gainer, you can initiate that and then pull over for the twist. I think you would do cork fine, like really well. I feel like you probably got a good gainer as well, so start it more like a gainer, think gainer, and then as soon as your right leg's giving you a little bit of height, then pull over for the cork. Then you got yourself a steezy cork. Mom, <laughs> turn on the heat in, it's about to get icy in here. <laughs> <laughs> and then hit another one for her and she's gonna be freezing, she's gonna put on a jacket and she'll be like, stop doing icy corks in the house. And with that, that's all we have for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button if you learned something from this, because a lot of the tips I gave on this, it's transferable. Like even if I'm giving tips on a backflip, it could help you with your standing full. It could help you with your handstand. Your maybe. geometry. Your geometry. Like maybe watching this video just gave you the answer to that coding problem <laughs> that you had. Maybe. If it did, hit the like button. And let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do another one of these videos, I might. This is the ninth one, I think. And if it is the ninth one, then they'll 
probably should be the final 10. Let me know if you guys want it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow me and Sean on Instagram. They're right here. And uh, thank you, Sean. No worries. It's been a, been a, been a pleasure. And that's a wrap. <laughs>